Hey guys, a quick update on the Peon 230 Pro quadcopter frame utilising carbon fibre tube arms. Uh, after some crash testing with the original frame that I showed in the previous video, uh, unfortunately it hasn't uh, withstood the, um, the abuse that I've been giving this. Um, this. This was the base on that previous video and as you can see it's cleanly broken off uh, in this location here and this location here. Um, I did end up uh, redesigning this base uh, as this one here, so I've beefed up the posts between the front and the rear of the frame. And also I increased the infill of the frame, so this is um, PETG material, uh, both of these, and this one was printed at only 35% uh, infill, so that's um, not very solid at all. But this one here I printed at 90% infill, and this one is way stronger than, than this one will be. Um, the only downside to that is where this base here weighed approximately 28 grams, this base here weighs 50 grams. So that's quite an increase in weight um, purely to house a carbon fiber arm. And also something that I'm not sure about is, okay, I've beefed up this section here which joins the front and the back. So these are these two spars here as you can see which are quite, uh, quite beefy now. But where it's broken here, this is where the arm attaches to the frame. And this is the, uh, the clamp which sits on the top of the arm. So these spars aren't going to do anything on a crash impact when this arm, for example, gets hit or strikes the ground, for example, it's going to flex. And on this newer frame, uh, I, I, I cannot, cannot beef that section up. All I can do is increase the infill. But I still think that, that that is going to be the weakest point where the carbon fiber clamps into the frame. It'll simply uh, break away at this location now rather than at this location where it did over here. So uh, thinking forward and also trying to lighten up the frame because by having this base at 50 grams it's just it's way too heavy. It defeats the purpose of using a 3D printed frame in my opinion. I've scrapped the uh, all printed base and I've gone with this new frame design so this is basically the same as the old one it's using the same arms it's using the upgraded motor brackets that I printed uh, and showed you in the previous video but for the base instead of using a purely printed frame uh, we're using carbon fiber for the arm so why not use carbon fiber for the main frame as well so in this particular setup all I've got is a couple of like I guess you could say T pieces a pair on this side and a pair on this side clamping down not only to the to the arms that are entering this T-piece but also to the uh, carbon fiber tube on either side of the main frame. So um, this is the new design and I'll be assembling this uh, this week and hopefully flying it um, before the weekend and I'll update you guys on the crash testing with this particular frame. All up this frame weighs 140 grams uh, it still maintains that cavity in the center there that um, the original frame would have as well. So the ESCs can still be uh, nicely nestled away uh, inside. Uh, the plastic parts are printed in PETG, 50% infill for the, for the arms and also for the T-pieces. So fingers crossed that um, this, and I'm trying to twist this, and there's absolutely no play whatsoever in this. It is extremely strong. And going back to this one here, even though I've printed this, there is still some flex. And you can see, especially up here, I'm pretty sure that would just snap away again on a, uh, on a hard impact. So, fingers crossed that this one here stands up to the test of being absolutely bashed. And I'll let you know how it goes.